This is P Diggy 22. Playing some Killzone Beta. Um, I'm playing Warzone, which is basically every mode. Search and destroy, team deathmatch, and um, retrieve. And I believe there's one more I'm forgetting. Oh, no, I can't think of it right now. But um, I start this game off like 16 an hour or something, and then decided to record it. These game, this game mode can last for like. Or this game type will last for can last for like thirty minutes, but it's the easiest way to rank up. Since I've been low level, I've been just playing mainly this. Few things. I have a slight change of heart on the beta. It's because uh, the first day I played it, I loved it, and that was when everyone was low level, and I was low level. So it was pretty fair. But then I didn't play for like two or three days and everyone was ranked up pretty far ahead of me. And I just got my ass whooped. I mean, once you get like, unlock different, the health, um, and if you got your special abilities maxed out, upgraded guns, and you're going to get someone that's low level, you're going to whoop their ass pretty much nine out of ten times. So that was really starting to bother me in this beta. Um, some of the guns don't have any sights. Like the the second LMG, it doesn't have any sights. It's just nothing on it. Like when you hit L1, you're just your screen just zooms in. Uh, I don't really like that. They need to put, I think they should put red dot sights for all the guns. At least. Um, the player collision fucking sucks in this game. Get your throat slit, motherfucker! Um, if, like, the other day I killed someone, and then his body was on the ground in front of me, and I couldn't move over him, and it got me killed. And then... Even with, like, the player's guns, like, I got caught on this dude's gun that I killed. I couldn't move over his gun. Same thing with the stairs. A lot of the stairs you have to jump up. That needs to be fixed. I think they need to slightly increase the damage on the submachine gun. Um, they need to slightly increase hip fire accuracy because when you hit fire in this game it just fucking goes everywhere yeah oh you seen that and I would like a dot in the center of my crosshairs that's just what I prefer or let me customize my own crosshairs I don't wanna play with fucking Call of Duty crosshairs I don't like those never did And the scope on the sniper rifle fucking blows. Like, it, it, when you look through it, there's a glare. And, like, you can't see shit half the time. Oh, that's really annoying. But, yeah, this is probably my favorite uh, game type to play is Warzone. Right now, I'm just running with the LMG because that's the only class I really have built up. Occasionally, I'll mess with the sniper. Or the shotgun, I mean. Fuck the sniper in this game. Sniper's trash. And. What else? I've been waiting to unlock the assault rifles, but I haven't been close. I bought this second LMG instead because I wanted to test that out. Definitely a big difference when you use a unlock gun because when I was relatively low level, I kept seeing people that killed me. It was all guns that were unlocked on my screen, 
And when you get the regular game, I never played a kill zone before, so I wasn't sure how to use my classes. Like, I just bought, unlocked a little bit in each class just so I could test it out. That's really not what you want to do. Because even at the highest, the I'm at a pretty high level now, and I don't have any classes max, maxed out. So that really fucks you in this game. Once you get the retail version, just fucking pick a class, either, I don't know, medic, engineer, tactician, one of those, and just level, pick it and just level it up. And don't move on to another one until you completely maxed it out, because it'll give you a major advantage. At least that's my opinion. <laughs> Steven Seagal, motherfucker. What the fuck? Oh yeah, and sometimes it doesn't tell you how you died. It'll just put a fucking head. Like, it'll just show this dude killed P. Diggy, and in between that will be a, a head that doesn't really tell me shit. I want to know how the fuck I died. Someone's fucking up my shit. And how did that dude just run through my name? I don't know. Yeah, and um... What was I gonna say? Hold on. The hit detection in this game is pretty mediocre. They need to uh, work on that. See, look, I couldn't go over that dude's body. See what I was talking about? It's fucking annoying as fuck. You wouldn't believe how many times I've died because some body was in front of me. And I think they need to tone down the fucking spawn bots. Like, if you take a peek into someone's spawn for, like, a split second, you're fucking dead. It doesn't matter. So usually, since the matchmaking in this game fucking blows so far, and you're mostly playing outnumbered, or vice versa, playing against people who are out outnumbered, you're usually by their spawn, so anytime you try to run in there to kill a dude that's camping on assassination, or whatever. The fucking spawn bot will just fucking kill you. Like, you have no option. I just punched that dude right in his mouth. And I got an assist on uh, melee the other day. Melee was their one hit kills. So that was. kinda bothered me. And I think they need to add some kind of uh make m proximity mines they need to change their color they fucking blend in crazy they're like fucking camouflage I step on those fucking things all the time but i rate people with them too so i mean kind of a cheap tactic but only because you could spam the shit out of them you'll see in this <laughs> we got this hilarious video me and jump man I'll post it up and I'll probably, uh, after this video. It's the funniest fucking kill ever. And I think they should take out the reloading animation. I get fucking killed all the time because my fucking dude has to stop and fucking look inside of a box to grab fucking ammo. Fuck that, just grab it. Fuck that dude and his parrot. I swear to God, if I see a guy running around and he doesn't have a parrot with him, I'm shooting him because I think he's an infiltrator. I do that shit all the time now. Just run up to teammates, just fucking melee them. What the fuck, dude? Why'd you just melee me? You're in, you're dressed as an infiltrator, dude. Stop dressing like my team, and then I won't shoot you. But an easy way to get around the infiltrator is fucking having a tactician. Cause then he just fucking shows up. Yeah, I think this will be a good game, but I really hope they add a hardcore mode. Or a mode without 
special abilities and such. I mean, I guess they're taking out custom ranked rooms, which is fucking stupid. Now I didn't even play any kills in them. I could tell you that's fucking stupid. Because they did the same thing to SOCOM, and that was fucking stupid. Yeah, so I like this game when it comes down to just fucking gun game, but once you. Uh, it's alright once you start throwing the, the special abilities in. But if you're, like, like I said before, if someone's ranked, has took the time to fucking rank the fuck up, and you're still level 1 or whatever, it's not too fun to play because you just get your ass kicked. And you gotta worry about shooting fucking mines and blowing up fucking parrots and shit. I love using the the, um, the transformers though. That shit's fun. And I love fucking mailing people like that. Fuck that dude. Cut his fucking head off. That's what they need to add. The ability to cut someone's head off. Fuck. Backed into a pole. Like a stripper. Yay, we won! ISA forever! Longest kill streak, best KD, epic win. Oh god, oh, it feels so good. Oh. Yay, to unlock points!